Part C, is there a difference in the variance between New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ at the 5% significance level? So we asked the same two questions. First question is, which testing are we dealing with? So we're dealing with difference, the keyword difference. So that means we know that this is two-tail. So that's the first question with which testing we're dealing with, two-tail testings. Second question that we're asking is which situation? And the keyword here is variance. That means we're in the fourth situations here. So once we have answered the two questions, then we look at the formula sheet. We know that we're in the population variance, we're looking at the variance, and then we're looking at two tails. So that means our H0 and H1 will be H0, our variance will be equal, H variance one equals to variance two. So that means for H0 and H1, for H0, our variance one equals to variance two, and then for H1, variance one does not equal to variance two. So we put that directly in, into the answer for H0 and H1. And H1 is what we're proving. We're trying to prove that the variants are not the same. And the next step is comparing the statistics with the critical. So the formula for the statistics, I give it to you here. And then formula for the critical, I give it to you here. F dot I and V dot RT, probability, comma, degree of freedom one, degree of freedom two. And the probability that we're going to use, we can look at the from the diagram. So the probability that we're going to use is we're going to use alpha over two for two tail. If it's one tail, then we use alpha as shown in the diagram. If it's two tail, then we use alpha over two. So we're going to use alpha over two as the probability. And then degree of freedom one, degree of freedom two. The degree of freedom one is n minus n one minus one. The degree of freedom two is n two minus one. So now that we know the formula for f statistics and f critical, then we know that for statistics it's just your variance one divided by variance two. And what we're given in the question is that we're given 1.3 for the standard deviation and then 1.16 for the standard deviation for the second sample. So we're going to put that in. So that's why we have 1.3 square and then 1.16 square because these are standard deviation and we want variance. So that's why standard deviation square gives you the variance. And then we get 1.256. And then for the critical, we use F dot I and D RT. And the probability is alpha over two because it's a two tail, degree of freedom one, N minus one, degree of freedom two, N two minus one. And then you're going to get 2.327. And in conclusion, we know that statistics is less than critical. So therefore, do not reject H0, except H0, except variance one equal to variance two. So you can see the structure is the same, right? So you identify the situation, you identify the testing, which testing are you dealing with, then you state your hypothesis, you compare statistics with critical, then you make your conclusion. So that structure is the same.